Hey everyone and welcome back to another Ross Reviews. Today we're checking out this 2006 Chrysler 300C SRT. This is an American muscle car that's done surprisingly well here in Australia. This actually shares a lot in common with some of the locally made Fords and Holdens. That being that this is a large four-door sedan, rear-wheel drive, you got that 6.1 liter Hemi V8 up front. This thing has actually got some go. So today I'm gonna to ask the question though, does it actually stack up? That's what we're gonna find out. Driving this 2006 Chrysler 300C SRT. So the SRT, this is the good one. This is the one you wanted to have. This obviously has got that 6.1 liter Hemi V8 up front. And uh, yeah, you know, this is a serious engine. Uh, you know, you got the Brembos on this particular car all round actually, which is just quite impressive. This is a very heavy car. You know, this thing almost weighs in at nearly two ton. So you better hope it has good brakes. Uh, this Hemi makes about 425 horsepower and about 420 pound foot of torque. So, you know, this thing's got some go. And, uh, you know, it might be a big car, but, you know, it's definitely got some go when you put your right foot into it. It sounds good. It's got that that throaty exhaust in the back and hell yeah you know this, this is a uh, this is a good old school v8 feels like now this being an american car you know there are a few giveaways and kind of straight away there's a bit of an annoyance with the indicator switches uh they're on the left hand side of the wheel so you really gotta wrap your brain around that and remember that it's always on the left hand side and just on the general size of this car it is just absolutely massive you you, it really doesn't even compare to a, a Holden or Ford. You know, you sit in this thing, the wheel is just absolutely huge, the dash is just absolutely huge, you can't even see like where the, where the end of the, the bonnet is, and it just feels like you're driving a tank. And uh, yeah, you know, it really, it really would be a difficult car to uh, park around town and, and you know, in some in some tight city driving you could run into some obstacles in this thing now just getting into the five questions we always start off with sound so just putting in my foot into it here <laughs> and uh it's actually it has a nice little um upshift change sound as well to it you know uh, you know, this car actually, it, it, it sounds bloody good. Now, practicality. Well, this car being a large four-door sedan, you know, it makes a good people mover. You know, it's comfortable in here. You got plenty of room, plenty of room in the back as well. You know, you got great leg room, great head room, big boot. You know, again, I keep saying it, you know, this is like a mafia car, you know, so the boot is absolutely massive. You know, chuck a couple of bodies back there, you can do it. Uh, you know, as for practicality for the rest of the car, it's pretty terrible. Uh, you know, this thing is, a gas chewer you know this thing will just go through the gas like you won't believe 
I believe it's claimed about 13 liters combined per 100 Ks, but good luck achieving that. Uh, you know, aside from that, you know, as well, Chrysler is not really known for, you know, great long-term reliability. Though I will say, you know, the Hemi V8 is pretty standard, you know, it's, it's pretty good. Now this thing doesn't have like an infotainment system or anything, you know, this is kind of before that, um, you know, standard dials in here as well. But at least you do get a aux cord input. So that's in the glove box. So if you want to listen to your music, you can do that though. You're just going to have to have the cord. But just going off the interior of this car, if we're comparing Holdens and Fords from 2006, you know, we got like the VZ, the BF range. This definitely feels more premium. You know, it, it definitely would have. And just the amount of leather in here, the way you sit in the car, um, yeah, it, it just, it does have that little bit more of a high-end feel to it. Now price, well, this thing brand new was pretty damn expensive as this was really marketed out to be like, you know, this muscle luxury car. Uh, you know, this thing was around that like $65,000, $69,000 mark brand new. And, you know, I think even today, only Australia and the Middle East are still really selling these cars from new and they ain't cheap. You know, they're still really expensive from new. But if you're gonna go on the used market, you know, you can really grab yourself a bargain. Uh, you know, a car like this, you know, some older ones, you know, you got a little bit higher kilometers on them, you know, you're gonna get some change from like 10 grand if you're lucky. Uh, you know, the average price for these going on Gumtree and car sales at the moment seems to be around that, you know, nine to $20,000 mark, obviously depending on age, condition, Ks, but there are some deals on these cars, there really are. Now handling. Well, this being a quite a large car, um, yeah, you know, this thing does float around a bit. This thing is a boat, you know, you you set sail every time you take this out of your driveway. So (laughs) there's no hiding that. Um, But you know, the ride is really comfortable. You know, you sit in this car, you barely really feel the road. You know, it, it is really comfortable to drive. Similar to a Falcon or a Holden, you know, this thing is just built for long cruises and drives beautifully. You know, you got some rock in this boat, but, you know, you brace yourself for it. You drive this car around a little bit, you kind of get used to it. And, uh, you know, you can still throw it around the corners quite nicely, but it's not really built for the B roads. Now, zero to 100, just pulling up on this back road here. Uh, I'm just going to put the car, I'm just going to leave it in drive. Uh, I've turned the ESP off and uh, we're just going to see how this thing goes. So obviously three, two, one. Hundred. <laughs> Man, you can feel this actually. Um, starting to feel the back end almost just wiggle a little bit there and uh holy it's got some serious get up and go for a big car such as this you know it can actually move it is uh really impressive actually wow (laughs) this car does feel like it has some get up and go but just not on the same level as some of the Aussie Fords and, and Holdens. It just, yeah, it just doesn't feel like it's at the same level. And it really does just go to show you that Aussies love big sedans, V8s, and rear wheel drives. You know, you put all those in a combination and you've got yourself a winner down here because that's what the people want. And funny enough, in 2015, America actually stopped selling the 300 CSRT because people just didn't want to buy it anymore, I guess. And uh, right, right now, only Australia and the Middle East is still selling this car. And, uh, you know, I, I've still got a feeling that Australia is still probably going to be selling it for a while because 
uh, since the demise, basically, of uh, the locally made Holdens and Fords, unfortunately, we don't have as many options as we used to anymore. And, you know, this being a large four-door sedan with the big V8, I think it's upgraded to a 6.4 liter V8 now. It's a pretty good option to take. Now, I'm going to finish the video off here today, guys. So, this Chrysler 300C SRT is uh, it's an absolute beast. You know, the thing goes hard. Uh, you know, it's quite a menacing looking car and uh, it drives pretty nicely. You know, I can't really complain too much. For the money these things are selling for now, uh, you can grab yourself a pretty nice bargain. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. If so, please remember to hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here. We'll see you on that next video. Oh, 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 oh,